Chief Medical Officer Sean Charles says the health system has been under severe pressure due to the increase of COVID-19 cases. The latest health dashboard records Grenada's active COVID-19 cases at 2,551 with a positivity rate at 26.7%. The number have grown rapidly over the past few days. Our team is under um, extreme pressure at present. One, the demand for testing is is really really high all right i know persons have the experience of going out to our health facilities and they know that you know they have to wait some time in addition um, we have in some instances staff who become infected because um, what we have what we have observed more commonly a family member brings it home so we have to isolate or we have to quarantine individuals which results in a reduction in the number of persons available to actually to actually do the work. Despite the shortage of staff, 1,800 plus COVID-19 tests recently were conducted. Um, our team is, is uh, has so far been able to you know overcome the difficulties and still produce the numbers that you are seeing. All right, still produce. I mean, when you look at the number of tests that we're doing and you compare it to, um, to many other countries, it's, 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 it's incredible. And I, I, you know, I am amazed how they're able to achieve this every day. And, um, you know, we thank them. All right, we thank them. And, um, you know, we hope that the public would be patient and recognize the human service that they're, that they're putting in. Some have been worried about the reintroduction of a curfew or restrictions on movement in light of the recent rapid increase in reported cases. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell was asked about this possibility during a news briefing today. And if life is not in danger as it used to be, the question therefore is putting additional restriction and creating more trauma in the society psych so psychologically. It does that worth it? That's the question that we have to answer. And I, my view is it doesn't worth it at this time. As I pointed out before, if we got into a situation like what we had when Delta occurred and we start seeing more hospitalization, more deaths, then, as, then as certainly it will call for some some other actions that we have not been ta taking at this particular time. Officials continue to urge persons to take advantage of vaccination testing facilities and to observe protocols put in place to keep people safe. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.